I thank you, Rachel. Now on to our coronavirus coverage. Hospitalizations have dropped below 1,400 for the first time in more than a month here in Maryland as cases climb to more than 43,000. Now, of course, part of the reason that cases keep rising, more testing. And now for the first time, you can actually get tested even if you aren't showing any symptoms at all. And this comes as Baltimore County decides to lift some of its restrictions, allowing some stores and salons to reopen. We have extensive live team coverage tonight. Let's begin with WJZ investigator Mike Helgren with the latest developments. Mike. Rick and Denise, demand outstripped supply here today. A lot of people are wondering, am I positive? And this unique site was a way for them to find out without needing a doctor's note. The line of cars stretched down York Road hours before the testing site at the Maryland State Fairgrounds even opened. Workers then had them move to a parking lot. You can see from the chopper, hundreds of cars waiting to get inside. Within minutes of its official opening, the facility was at its limit. Only the first 1,000 people got tested. What's the big draw? This is the first coronavirus testing location open to anyone free of cost without a doctor's authorization or any symptoms. The fact that we were at capacity so quickly speaks to the incredible need out there in the community. There are no plans yet to open the fairgrounds for a similar testing initiative again. However, state vehicle emission facilities in Glen Burnie and Hyattsville will perform tests to any members of the general public on Friday. This is a PCR test where there will be a swab up the nose and then that is sent out to actually detect the actual virus. The state is also partnering with CVS for drive through testing at 17 pharmacies. You drive up and will be given a kit to administer the swab yourself. A pharmacy employee will make sure you are doing it right. COVID-19 is here, it's real, and it's deadly. We have no cure, we have no treatment, and we have no vaccine at this particular time. Across the street from the fairgrounds, we saw people eating at restaurants outside, although that is still prohibited under the governor's executive order. Baltimore County did announce that retail businesses and hair salons will be able to open Friday at 9 a.m. People must wear masks and no more than 10 people will be allowed in a store at any one time. And those who got tested here today at the fairgrounds should have their results within 24 to 48 hours. The governor also announced that a massive contact tracing operation will be in full effect next week with 1,400 investigators. Reporting live in Timonium, Mike Helgren, WJZ.